the next concept is surface energy so what is this surface energy let us suppose it is the container it contains some fluid I didn't change the temperature so a temperature is constant that when the temperature is constant the process is said to be isothermal process so the amount of work done in increasing the surface area of the body by one unit in isothermal conditions is called surface energy so the amount of energy required to increase the surface area of a liquid in isothermal conditions is called surface energy so surface energy is called work done by length work done by unit length mostly we can say that work done and energy are the same dimensional physical quantities let us suppose this is the liquid and this liquid should be increased to one more and its surface area should be increased to l means length should be increased to by a unit of l so how much amount of work i should do this is said to be surface energy now we will discuss the equation part for this physical quantity now what is the equation part to find out the surface energy let us suppose take two metal strips pq and ab this is ab this is pq these two metal strips are dipped in water now to the water i have added some detergent and this detergents can create the foam inside the water once the foam is created the soap bubbles will form and these bubbles will increase its size before going to the blast that means if suppose these are the bubbles shape initially so these bubbles are created between the two metal strips those are placed horizontal and parallel in the metal container ab pq so these ab and pq are the metal strips now it will expand because of the these bubbles will expand let us suppose but because of this borders arranged by these two metal strips they will go to blast but if suppose if i change this ab to another position a dash b dash let us suppose then we can see the maximum explosion of the soap bubbles means here the explosion is not limited by any borders it was free to expand in this case it is doing some work is done on these bubbles to increase its surface area like that we can find out the surface energy we know that there is a force which is required to increase in surface area so according to the surface tension formula surface tension t is equal to force per unit length it is nothing but f by 2l we need we should find out the amount of force required to increase the 
surface energy or surface area of a bubble or of, of anything to 1 meter under the isothermal condition. It is nothing but the surface energy. So, therefore, F is equal to tensional force into 2L. Now, we will find out the amount of work done. Therefore, work done during the expansion. W is equal to general formula is F into X, force into displacement. So, where F is equal to T into 2L into X. So, this is surface tension into 2L X. So, 2L is the length at displacement of the bubble. X is the displacement. So, 2L into X is both are in the dimensions of length. Length into length is nothing but the area. Therefore, it is surface tension into area that is equal to work done. From this, T is equal to we can write W by A also. This refers to surface tension is equal to work done on unit surface area. So, what we can write? Surface tension is also defined as it is the amount of work done on unit surface area of the fluid element. So, by this expression, the units of surface tension are also changed. So, the SI unit of surface tension is equal to SI unit of work done is joule and SI unit of surface area is meter square. So, it can be written as joule meter per minus 2 also. So, in CGS unit, the CGS unit of T is equal to, the CGS unit of work done is egg and CGS unit of surface area is centimeter square. So, this is egg for centimeter square. So, like this, we can find out the Another definition of surface tension from the concept of surface energy. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.